My name is Kyle Cassidy. I'm the author of Armed America, Portraits of Gun Owners in Their Homes. In 2004, I was at a dinner party and found myself seated next to a former presidential campaign staffer. The election had just ended, and we were talking about his job. He mentioned that one of his duties was to help wrangle the gun vote, which was something that surprised me. I'd never thought of it as something that could be wrangled. When he mentioned that nearly half of the homes in America had guns in them, I became very curious as to who these people were, what they looked like, and how they lived. It dawned on me that it would be very interesting to drive across the country, meet gun owners, and ask them one question. Why do you own a gun? I wanted to photograph people in their houses because I think the environment that people surround themselves with every day tells us a lot about them, especially when you're trying to convey what a person is like with only a single image. I also wanted to have, more than anything else, a book of compelling portraits that you could take the guns out of, and they would still be portraits of Americans and American families. I grew up in a gun environment, but the only people who had guns were gang members. I thought that guns were bad things, and only bad people had them. I had no exposure to any positive gun experiences, so I didn't know there were normal people who had guns. Rob took me shooting, and I had so much fun, and I was really impressed with how responsible everyone was. I felt like I was part of something very serious, fun, but everyone took it so seriously and so responsibly that I felt very safe. Now I want to go small game hunting because I love to cook. I want to learn to cook pheasant and rabbit. I want to learn how to butcher. I want to do it all, all the stuff that these old Wisconsin women seem to have been born knowing. I went through hunter safety when I was younger. The only time we ever saw guns was during hunting season. Then during college, there was a place where you could rent guns and go target shooting. My friends and I started target shooting, and it really went from there. Now it's just become a really enjoyable pastime. Anybody who likes darts or pool or especially golf, anything like that, would also enjoy target shooting. I grew up in the South, and I come from a family of hunters. One of my first memories is learning to shoot a gun in my backyard. When I moved to Philadelphia, I quickly realized I wanted to buy a gun for home defense. The bottom line is, if somebody's threatening me or my child, I want to be able to protect us. My shotgun will take care of any intruder, and I know how to use it. I own guns for the same reason I own fire extinguishers. While I certainly don't expect or hope for a worst-case scenario, should one present itself, I'm prepared to take an active role in ensuring my family survives. I grew up with guns in the house that were used regularly to put food on our table. I've known gun safety inside and out since I was a child. I'm confident my son will grow up with the same understanding and handle them with the same respect and care whether he chooses to own guns or not. I'm a liberal Democrat, and most of the people that I know when they find out that I own guns are very surprised by this, friends and family, because they tend to think of gun owners as rednecks or Klansmen or that kind of thing, but we're not a monoculture. A lot of people that I know that are gun owners aren't Republican or even particularly conservative. They're all over the scale. They're libertarian, radical, liberal, conservative, everywhere. So my main reason for owning guns is that I own firearms for self-defense. I want to be able to defend my home and myself if I have to, but it's only as a last resort. It's not something I look forward to. It's something I prepare for but it's something I hope to God I never have to do because, I mean, I'm, more, I'm aware of the consequences of what would happen if I use my firearm in self-defense. I could go to jail, I could go to prison, I could get sued, and I don't want any of that, but I do want the last resort just in case I have to. My name's David Polk. Uh, hunting's my main purpose for owning guns. Uh, time in the woods is, means a lot to me. Mostly it's just quiet walking around in the woods. I can be out there for hours and hours. I used to hate guns. They scared me. The usual guns kill. Then my husband took me out to the range and I enjoyed it. Then we started going out with friends. My thinking changed a lot. It's not the guns that kill. It's the people that kill. When the kids were younger, I wasn't sure I wanted anything dangerous in the house. Then I realized that there were plenty of things in the house more dangerous than an unloaded gun. I feel pretty good about it now. I just love to shoot.
I own a gun mainly for hunting. I grew up around guns. Grew up with my pop up target shooting with me at the cap and shooting with my dad. Uh, he was the one that who gave me my first twenty two, and that's what I started planking with. And I grew to love it. Then I got my first deer with my Russian rifle. Moved along to muzzle loaders and archery, but hunting's my main thing. I've shot three deer. The last one was with a flintlock, and it didn't even step after I shot. It just fell over. I have nothing against guns, but I have never had an urge to shoot any of them. I still think they're cool, and I love that we have them in the house, and that my friends are really impressed by the collection that we have. Well, my father was a Philadelphia police officer for over 30 years. 20-plus of those years were spent in the homicide division. And I remember stepping over his gun every night on the stairs on my way up to bed. And you didn't mess with Daddy's gun because it wasn't a toy. Growing up the daughter of a cop, you learn early on that the world can be a dangerous place and that you need to be able to protect yourself should you have to. When I was diagnosed with cancer, I found myself and my family they need protection. I can do all the fight, too sick to run, and since cancer took my vocal cords, I couldn't yell my help. I purchased my first gun. I was a criminal justice major in college, and while I'm a big supporter of law enforcement, I was always struck by how reactive law enforcement ultimately is. In other words, too often crime has already been committed before law enforcement becomes involved. That sent me a strong and clear message. It's up to us as citizens to protect ourselves, our families, and our property. Our Constitution provides us with the right and the method by which to achieve that objective, and I simply choose to exercise that right. I consider the ownership of arms not only a right, but the duty of a free people to themselves and future generations. People who are anti-gun can name instance after instance, situation after situation where a gun would do you no good at all, and I would have to agree with them. But if there's that 101st time, one time out of 101, where having a gun would have meant saving your own child, you would probably sell your soul or, or trade everything you have to do that. Years ago, I saw a burglar on television who said that his greatest fear was a homeowner with a gun, and that if a homeowner even just pointed a gun at him, he'd surrender. And if he knew that a house had a gun in it, he wouldn't rob it. And in fact, that's how he was caught. A woman pulled a gun on him while he was robbing her house. I wouldn't want to be in a situation where I needed a gun to protect my family and I didn't have one. Plus, on a side note, as a hobby, we like to go target shooting. I'm not really interested in guns. I don't particularly like them, but I was asked to, I was commissioned to create a duck hunter, um, and instead of sculpting a gun in clay, I pulled a mold off of a knockoff of a browning over and under. Um, so I pulled the mold, and uh, I've had the gun in my basement in a sack, uh, disassembled for years. Well, I was born and raised about 12 miles down the road from where Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow were ambushed and killed. This was in 1934 or 35. I'm not sure which, but one of those two years, I think. And as a result, uh, North Louisiana kind of gained a reputation as being a rather violent part of the world. And uh, everybody that I knew did indeed carry guns or had guns. We didn't carry them, of course, but... Everybody had at least two guns, a shotgun and a twenty two rifle. A shotgun, of course, was used to take uh, birds on the wing, supposedly, like ducks. And a twenty two rifle was very useful for shooting squirrels, which we ate with a great deal of uh, enthusiasm because they were easy to kill and uh, they made a delicious meal. But most of these weapons were looked upon as implements, I think uh, I would say, for harvesting food, wild game, uh, we can call it food, and uh, harvesting may not be the right way to use it, but that's, what we, that's how we use the weapons. We didn't go out and shoot anybody or shoot anything. Robbery was virtually unknown. I hate guns, and don't get me started on them, and I think just my saying the word started will 
give an indication that I'm not from northern Louisiana, but from the northeast. And my urban upbringing, I think, has probably conditioned my uh, loathing of, uh, of guns and uh, the potential for evil that they have in the kind of world that I grew up in. So it's a different world that we grew up in, and our views are different, uh, differ accordingly. My name is Kyle Cassidy. 